everyone, Derek here. You know what? Today, I am super excited because we're going to build a tiny whoop. But we're not just going to build any old tiny whoop. We're going to build a brushless 2S tiny whoop. I have never seen one of these before. I'm hoping this is the first one out in the wild, and I'm super excited. So let's look at some of these products, and let's get started. Let's start with the frame. We have a Rackon Heli, carbon fiber, and Durlin. 2S frame. We have a Super S F4 Omnibus 2S flight controller with built in OSD. And this kit also includes a BL Heli S 6 amp ESC. For motors, we have Racer Star 703 1500. KV motors. Should be pretty peppy. Some heavy gauge wire. A super tiny FR Sky receiver. Of course, an inductor canopy. And some three blade props. So without further ado, let's open some of this stuff and get building. Let's get this frame open. Looks like we've got some instructions, some stickers, and of course the frame itself. Some ducts, a carbon, and some screws. And let's take a look at the flight controller. I've been dying to get into this thing. Wow, look at this thing. This thing is tiny. Cool. ESCs. And let's take a look at a motor. Wow, super small. Look at how small this little guy is. That is tiny. All right, well, let's figure out how to put the frame together. So it looks like we've got our carbon. And I am experiencing this for the first time with you guys. I have no idea how this build is going to turn out. It could either be one of the most incredible things I've ever done, or a huge waste of time. So let's see if we can figure this out.
I just had to get up and take a break. I literally just fried the flight controller. I don't know what happened. Um, I was super careful making a custom harness, trying to cut down the bulk and the extra wire length from the factory. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's the harness itself or if it happened trying to smush the receiver in between the ESCs and the flight controller. But one way or another, I just made junk out of this thing. Unfortunately, we're not going to have a flight video today. Looks like it's going to be a two-parter. So in part one, we're going to have majority of the build. And in part two, I'm going to get this thing buttoned up with the new flight controller in it. And then hopefully we'll have some flight footage in this one. Uh, make sure you check the description. There is a detailed list of all the parts that are in this build. And if you found this in any way helpful, useful, informative, if you got any enjoyment at all, please be sure to like this video and also click on that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I guess I'll see you in part number two.